Hello, and welcome to the Daily Orthodox Christian Scripture Reading for the 15th week after Pentecost, Saturday. The first reading of the day is from St. Paul's first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 4, verses 17 through 21, and chapter 5, verses 1 through 5. Brethren, therefore I sent you Timothy, my beloved and faithful child in Christ, as I teach them everywhere in every church. Some are arrogant, as though I were not coming to you, but I will come to you soon, if the Lord wills, and I will find out not the talk of these arrogant people, but their power. For the kingdom of God does not consist in talk, but in power. What do you wish? Shall I come to you with a rod, or with love in a spirit of gentleness? It is actually reported that there is immorality among you, and of a kind that is not found even among pagans, for a man is living with his father's wife, and you are arrogant. Ought you not rather to mourn? Let him who has done this be removed from among you. For though absent in body, I am present in spirit, and as if present, I have already pronounced judgment in the name of the Lord Jesus on the man who has done such a thing. When you are assembled, and my spirit is present with the power of our Lord Jesus, you are to deliver this man to Satan for the destruction of the flesh, that his spirit may be saved in the day of the Lord Jesus. And today's gospel reading is from Luke chapter 5, verses 27 through 32. At that time, as Jesus passed by, he saw a tax collector named Levi sitting at the tax office, and he said to him, Follow me. And he left everything and rose and followed him. And Levi made him a great feast in his house, and there was a large company of tax collectors and others sitting at table with them. And the Pharisees and their scribes murmured against his disciples, saying, Why do you eat and drink with tax collectors and sinners? And Jesus answered them, Those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick. I have not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Thank you for listening. Let the brightness of the Lord our God be upon us and direct the works of our hands to do good. See you tomorrow.